Short Story 59, The Lost Key and the Curious Cat Lily lived in a cottage nestled among rolling hills, where sheep dotted the emerald meadows like fluffy marshmallows. She was known for her boundless curiosity, a trait sometimes as helpful as it was troublesome. One sunny morning, while rummaging through her grandparents' attic, she stumbled upon a dusty, ornately carved chest. The air crackled with anticipation as she unlatched the tarnished clasp, revealing a jumble of forgotten treasures. Amongst faded photographs and chipped teacups nestled a tiny silver key. An inscription, worn smooth by time, read, Unlock Secrets the Heart Desires. Lily's imagination bloomed like a field of wildflowers. What secret could this key hold? Was it the key to a pirate's hidden treasure? A magical portal to another world? Or perhaps just a rusty old padlock? Driven by her insatiable curiosity, Lily clutched the key and dashed out the door. Her ginger cat, Marmalade, always her loyal companion, trailed closely behind, purring inquisitively. They explored every nook and cranny of the cottage, searching for a lock worthy of the mysterious key. Lily peered behind loose floorboards, jiggled doorknobs, and even attempted, unsuccessfully, to pry open the chimney flue. Marmalade, meanwhile, batted at dust notes, dancing in sunbeams and chasing errant spiders with playful swats. Just as frustration began to cloud Lily's disposition, Marmalade let out a meow and scampered into the garden. Lily followed, her curiosity reignited. The cat was perched on a weathered stone bench, staring intently at a gnarled oak tree. On its gnarled trunk, nestled just out of reach, hung a tiny wooden birdhouse. Lily squinted. Could that be a keyhole? With marmalade batting at her ankles in encouragement, Lily clambered onto the bench. Stretching as tall as she could, she cautiously inserted the key. It fit. A shiver of anticipation ran down her spine as she turned the key. The birdhouse door cre creaked open, revealing not a feathered resident, but a miniature world painted on the inside. Lily gasped. The miniature world was a bustling village, complete with tiny houses, cobbled streets, and people no bigger than her thumb. They were baking bread, tending gardens, and chatting at market stalls. Marmalade perched on Lily's shoulder, meowed in wonder. For hours Lily and Marmalade were lost in the miniature world. They watched bakers kneading dough, listened to cobblers hammering shoes, and even giggled at a tiny dog chasing its tail. It was like stepping into a storybook filled with vibrant details and charming characters. As the sun began to set, casting long shadows on the garden, Lily knew it was time to return. With a pang of sadness, she closed the birdhouse door and gently removed the key. The miniature world seemed to dim as she did, the tiny lives returning to their painted stillness. Back in the cottage, Lily snuggled Marmalade close. Although the miniature world was no longer visible, the magic of the key lingered. It was a reminder that curiosity could unlock not just physical secrets, but also worlds of wonder and imagination. The key didn't lead to buried treasure or hidden portals, but it had opened the door to a different kind of magic, one that lived within her own heart. From that day on, Lily carried the key with her, a talisman of wonder and a reminder that sometimes the greatest secrets are not hidden away, but waiting to be discovered within ourselves and Marmalade, forever her curious companion, never did understand why he couldn't join her tiny friends inside the painted birdhouse. 
Story written by Google Bard AI. Image created by Desgo.com AI. Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed the story, please would you click on the like icon and take the time to leave a comment. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.